Hello, young scientists! Welcome to Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. So hang on tight, for we will answer your what, why, and how questions. Let us discover the beauty of the world together. This is your science teacher, Teacher Maybe. Come and join me in our short yet exciting science adventure. For today's adventure, we will explore how the major organs work together to make the body function properly. Reminder, please prepare your self-learning module, pen, and paper. These things are important as we discover everything about the major organs of the body. In today's episode, we will talk about how major organs like bones and muscles, stomach and intestines, heart and lungs work together to make the body function properly. How do you think these major organs work together to make the body function properly? I have here a paper doll and a tire wire. I will make the paper doll stand on its own. Will it be able to stand on its own? Was the paper doll able to stand on its own? No, because it had no support. Now, I will attach the tire wire to the paper doll. Can the paper doll be able to stand on its own now? Yes, it can now stand on its own. What role did the wire play when it was attached to the paper doll? The wire served as a support to the paper doll. Just like the paper doll and the wire, our body needs the bones and muscles to be able to move. The two major organs work together. There are also some other major organs that work hand in hand to be able to make the body function properly. We will find out later what these organs are. But before we move on to our science lesson for today, let's first recall last week's episode. Unfortunately, Tech Machino is under maintenance. But we still have this flashback controller. The bones maintain the structure and form of the body and protect and support the internal organs. Muscles enable our body to move. They also give shape and forms to our body and protect its delicate organs. The stomach is where food is broken down into smaller particles. The small intestine is where the nutrients are then absorbed, which then goes to the bloodstream. The large intestines is where undigested food particles like seeds, Tough fruit pulp and not properly chewed meat are passed to be passed out of the body during defecation. The kidneys remove urea from the blood in form of urine. The heart continues to pump blood to the rest of the body parts through the blood vessels as long as a person is alive. The lungs filter the oxygen that enters our body because it contains a filtering structure that ensures that the heart receives clean oxygen from the lungs. Lastly, the brain. The brain's main function is to process the information that it receives and to send instructions to the different parts of the body. In the last episode, we had ventured on the major organs of our body and its functions. What are the main organs of our body? What are the functions of each organ? In this lesson, 
you will be learning more about how major organs work together to make the body function properly. Major organs in our body work together to make the body function properly. Trivia! More than half of your bones are in your hands and feet. You have 206 bones in total and 106 of them are in your hands and feet. This time, let us see more of the major organs in our body and how they work with one another so that our body can function properly. When you are writing, how many bones do you think are involved in the movement? Are two or more bones involved in the movement? Yes, two or more bones are involved in the movement. What covers these bones? Bones are covered with muscles. How do muscles help the bones to move? Muscles expand and contract to aid movement of two or more bones. Bones provide support for movement. Now, let's go to the other organs that work together. Let me ask you first. Have you eaten your meal today? Where do you think these food go after you have swallowed it? It will go to the stomach. Will the food stay in the stomach? No, it will be broken down into smaller pieces. Will the stomach do the digestion process alone? No, the intestines will further digest the food to be absorbed by the body. The stomach and intestines work together to digest food. Now, let's proceed to another pair of body organs working together. Let me ask you first to put your right hand on the upper left of your chest. What do you feel? Yes, we can feel the beating of your heart. This time, let's inhale and exhale. How does air move into and out of the body? When you inhale, oxygen in the air is used by the body, and when you exhale, you release carbon dioxide outside of the body. How do the heart and lungs help each other? The beating of the heart is due to the muscle contraction. Thus, the heart continues to pump blood as long as the person lives. The contraction continues, allowing the heart to receive oxygen from the lungs and continues to contract and pump blood to the rest of the body parts. The lungs filter the oxygen that enters our body because it contains a filtering structure to ensure that the heart receives clean oxygen from the lungs. Therefore, the heart and the lungs support each other to allow distribution of nutrients and oxygen to all parts of the body and release of carbon dioxide as a waste product in the body. What organs work together to support and help the body move? The bones and muscles work together to help the body move. What organs work together for food digestion? The stomach and intestines work together to digest food. What organs work together to support each other to allow distribution of nutrients and oxygen to all parts of the body 
and the release of carbon dioxide as a waste product of the body. It's the heart and lungs. If you got all of the right answers, then you deserve your first star. Major organs of the body work together to make the body function effectively. Trivia! The average heart is the size of a fist of an adult. Your heart will beat about 115,000 times each day. Your heart pumps about 2,000 gallons of blood every day. In Science 4, there's always time to explore. So make sure you're ready because it's... Activity time! Young scientists, this time we will be comparing your heart rate while resting and with your heart rate after exercise. This will further explain how the heart and lungs help each other. For this activity, we will be using these different materials, namely a timer or watch. Are you ready? Thumbs up if you are ready. Great! Record your pulse rate first. Jog in place for 1 minute or 60 seconds. Record your pulse rate again. Compare your heart rate while resting with your heart rate after jogging in place. differences in the heart rate? What differences are shown in the recorded data? My pulse or heartbeat increases when I am engaged in a physical activity. My heart's resting rate or initial pulse is lower than my working heart rate. What is the effect of exercise to your heart rate? What does this mean? How do the lungs get involved? The exercise can increase the contraction of heart muscles. It increases pulse and heart rate. The contraction continues, allowing the heart to receive oxygen filtered from the lungs. If you got two out of two answers correctly, it's time for you to add your second star. Major organs work together to make our body function effectively. The bones and muscles work together to help the body move. The stomach and intestines work together to digest food. The heart and lungs support each other to allow distribution of nutrients and oxygen to all parts of the body and the release of carbon dioxide as a waste product. Have you ever injured your bones or strained your muscles? What are the common bone injuries? The common bone injuries are fractures, dislocations, and sprains. What are the common muscle injuries? The common muscle injuries are cramps, bruises, and hematomas. What activities are prone to injuries? Playing climbing, and strenuous work. How will you protect your bones and muscles from injuries? Use protective gears while playing or working and eat nutritious food that are good for bones and muscles. Let us fill in the blanks with the correct words about what we have learned for today about the organs working together to make our body work properly. Major organs work together to make our body function effectively. The blank and blank work together to help the body move. Next, the blank and blank work together to digest food.
lastly, the blank and blank support each other to allow distribution of nutrients and oxygen to all parts of the body and the release of carbon dioxide as a waste product. If you got all the answers correctly, you deserve your third star! Major organs work together to make our body function effectively. The bones and muscles work together to help the body move. The stomach and intestines work together to digest food. The heart and lungs support each other to allow distribution of nutrients and oxygen to all parts of the body and the release of carbon dioxide as a waste product. That's all for today, young scientists! I hope we had answered your what, why, and how questions. Once again, this is your science teacher, Teacher Maybe. Thank you for joining me in another short yet exciting science adventure. Watch out for another awesome science feat next Friday and Saturday only here on DepEd TV.